Hey Facebook, I'm still in the same place that I was when I did the healing. And it's probably because of how good it's making me feel. Um, Cause I wasn't feeling my best when I came back from out of town. <clears throat> I noticed that things were trying to escalate. So I've been resting and like my teacher says, when you heal others, you heal yourself and then you heal the world. <laughs> so I've been feeling really, really good. Just kind of like sitting here chilling, you know. Sitting here chilling, relaxing, enjoying the quiet space. Um... And my intuition told me to go live. And like I said, um, after my weekend I had, we definitely were told to do more, you know, kind of like jump in. So that's why I'm doing more. I'm jumping in. And I am putting more content out for you guys. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> I figured I would share some stuff with you guys. Like some of my personal stuff that I post. That I post privately. Because I figured it could help you guys the way it helps me. Oh. <sighs> And as I continue to heal, I might start to possibly lose my voice because of all of the throat clearing and all that. It tends to make my throat get a little raspy. So in other words, I better get it in now while I can. Because it could possibly be that I will need to take a few days off. Maybe so, maybe no. Um, <clears throat> the other reason that I decided to do this is because I know that, um, nights are comforting when you get a chance to spend them with people you truly care about or feel comfortable around, people who make your space feel cozy. So I'm hoping that this makes you feel a little bit cozy, you know? Um, <clears throat> knowing that I'm comfortable. <laughs> Hopefully it makes you feel comfortable. So it is 2 a.m. Um, and... So uh, let me, let me, no let me put that... <laughs> on mute okay so I'm going to share some stuff with you guys um I don't know if you guys know much about like vortexes and and portals that's why people like to go to Sedona because of the vortexes there. It's a vortex of energy. And I posted some videos before of my trip to Sedona. Like my, um, the one that I took in May. I even put some of them on YouTube because I wanted people to feel the energy from the vortexes in Sedona, which is a strong energy from the earth. Um, so anyway, sometimes these vortexes can be portals. And um, they can take you to places that help 
with your clarity and your mindset. <clears throat> it's usually a feeling. It's usually a feeling, so... You'll know it by the way it makes you feel, in other words. It's a good feeling. Kind of like how I'm feeling now as I heal. Like, I'm just, like, sitting here chilling and I can feel my body soaking up all of the time and space of these healing hours. Usually you have to be asleep to get the most benefit from it but I can feel it even though I'm not asleep and like I said my intuition told me to get on here with you guys so I believe that that means as I heal you heal <clears throat> um, let's see what do I have here I want to share When you, <clears throat> when your intuition is speaking to you, don't doubt yourself or second guess yourself. Your intuition is right on the money. It's right at the beginning. It's right on the first thought. I had someone uh, message me today and she asked me about a situation that happened in her house today. And um, she only told me what happened today. Um, she mentioned something that happened some years ago, which, you know, was very similar. But she just said that it frightened her, and she asked me, what did it mean? <clears throat> Immediately, my intuition told me exactly what to say and exactly what it meant without any doubt and sometimes it depends on the person that you're talking to sometimes when you know that they understand what you do you don't feel hesitant but then at other times when you're talking to people who are kind of new to this <clears throat> at times you get in your own way and you start to wonder if you're telling them the right thing because you want it to sound right to them. But all you're doing is you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing yourself a disservice and you are doing them a disservice because you're not going with your intuition <clears throat> on the first time. So it's so important to do that. It's so important to go with your gut feeling. The more you go with your gut feeling, the more you'll receive insight and answers from your gut feeling. So, um, this is a stone that I received. It is um, amethyst, and I don't know <laughs> why I'm showing it to you, but anyway, let me know how it makes you feel. Okay, <clears throat> so always go with your gut. When I told the girl what happened, she said, is that what your intuition told you? And I said, yeah, that's what my intuition told me right away without a doubt. I said, and I had complete faith in it without second guessing it. And she said, wow. She said, um, it actually relates to what happened in the past because in the past, they felt like the similar incident brought in kind of like a stream of bad luck. And they were kind of afraid that the fact that a very, you know, similar incident just happened again would bring in another stream of bad luck. And I, what I had told her was that, no, um, this, this incident represents the fact that anything that has been around since that time that made you less than comfortable is now on its way out. 
And so she was like, so happy to hear that, you know? So always go with your first, always go with your first mind, guys. Don't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Your intuition is here to lead you or guide you to a life that's going to be, <clears throat> that's going to lead to happiness rather than regret and sorrow. I hope that you remember that. Let's see. Hmm. A lot of this is about manifesting. <clears throat> also, I noticed that I was writing about being tired of submitting to worry and anxiety. So I made up my mind that I was not going to do it because of all of the support and help that I have. Like, why should I keep doubting the help, right? <clears throat> and I, I noticed that I put in here, whenever I was at my wit's end, I'd ask Jehovah to carry me. And he always did. <clears throat> Sometimes we feel like we have all the answers, right? But you can um you can get help. You don't have to be superman or superwoman. You can get help by asking. Ask for help. <clears throat> Let's see. What else is in here? Let me something that I know you guys will enjoy. Uh, let's see. When something isn't right for you, your soul rejects it and tries to warn you in many different ways. Pay attention to how things make you feel and what emotions they bring up in you. These are all messages. If something is not right for you, let it go. Just do it. No caption needed. I think I posted this one already. <laughs> I'm laughing at how I ended it. Maybe I didn't post it. <clears throat> so this says that people are attracted by light. They want to come into light. Light attracts the full spectrum of people who live in darkness. The people who live in darkness need light, and they come to the light for illumination. So after time, their darkness can affect the light. And we're talking about people. Their darkness can affect light, <clears throat> and it may appear that you are not as bright as they once thought you were. And they'll look at you differently. However, it was their own darkness that they saw. So, outshine them. Outshine them. Always remember to outshine them. You have the power to do so. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. <clears throat> clear my throat. <clears> throat> I'll be glad when I get 100% better. Okay. 
uh, always remember to place yourself in a positive mood. Even if it means remembering positive situations and memories. And just kind of like bask in that rather than anything negative about your life or about things going on. Because the more you live in that, the more you attract that in your life. So keep positive and stay around people who are going to be positive. Because whatever it is that you're around... Is what you continue to inflict upon yourself. So hopefully it's good. <clears throat> Never, ever, ever, ever look down upon others. Never look down upon others. If someone hurts you, forgive them. And love them from the heart. Allow your forgiveness to bring you joy. If you look down upon people, it's going to keep you in a certain space, energetic-wise. And this is why some religions have a hard time and they, the people in the religion continue to spin their wheels because they look down upon people. Um, this is a reminder to always keep your eyes on what is higher or heavenly. If you keep your eyes there, if you keep your consciousness there, Things will start to open up for you. <clears throat> what is this? Mm. Oh, yeah, I don't want to read that. Let's see, what about this? This is some personal notes that I took a picture of. I've been um, putting a lot of things down on paper that come to my mind including geometry <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking at right here I have this geometry that came to me that was that looked like a honeycomb If you imagine this honeycomb sifting through your chakras and your energetic space, and if you do this while you're meditating or if you are like watching one of my healings and you imagine The honeycomb sifting through you and through your energy centers. <clears throat> it will make your healing more potent and more effective. It'll amplify it. Amplify. <clears throat> so... I wanted to share that with you because, again, this is about me putting information out that's going to help people. So, I'm living in my purpose. And I'm sharing things with you that help me. If you want to know where I get my energy from, where I get my joy from, where I get my rejuvenation from, and where I get the love that a lot of you feel. <laughs> comes from all those things 
I love sacred geometry. Let's see. And if you want to know what sacred geometry is, just imagine like fruit. Imagine fruit like a like grapefruit or citrus fruit and how it closely mimics your veins. It's good for your nervous system. And it helps boost your immune system. It helps cleanse you out. Citrus fruit is very acidic and it helps to clear out some of the inorganic acid from your body. Um... <clears throat> and I know I talk about this a lot, but I want to reiterate, you know, like when you have questions to do like a meditation until you find the answer inside of you, because that's where the answers come from. Um... I wonder if I should show you guys this picture. Ooh. Sound. <laughs> your ears. Have you ever had your ears ring when you, like if someone, you ever hear somebody say your, your ears must be ringing because we were talking about you or your ears were burning? Were your ears burning because we were just talking about you? If you ever worked in like telecommunications or anything like that, you understand how um, everything travels along the path of the, you know, like telephone lines and lines that they use like for the internet and all of that right it all travels it's all energy it all travels we have the same pathways but wirelessly we have the same pathways um <clears throat> no one wants us to realize that we have those abilities you know, they are telepathic abilities. And there's nothing spooky about it. It's science. It's math. And your ears are created in such a way that they can re both receive and well, yeah, they can receive information. Your sound is, your hearing is better than you think. <laughs> the hearing, <clears throat> the frequencies that your ears receive are not always audible. If that makes sense. What else can I share? Mm, I like this one. Add values to other people. No. Add value to other people's lives. Add value to their lives. If you concentrated on adding value to other people's lives rather than only merely focusing on yourself. Your life would be enhanced times 10 or times 100. It is 2.22 a.m. Let me take a screenshot. I like, I love angel numbers. <clears throat> and that came when I said to add value to other people's lives. Your life will be enhanced for it. You'll begin to find your purpose that way. Everybody has a distinct purpose. Um, 
Um, this video is for people who need company at night. Here's another important message. <clears throat> Please be who you are. Don't try to be someone or something else. Be who you are. And when you do that, don't attempt to strip the next person of who they are. There's a powerful lesson in that. Be who you are, but do not attempt to strip the next person of who they are. Allow them to be who they are. And you just worry about yourself. <laughs> worry about your goddamn self. Sorry, I had to slip that in there. <clears throat> This one is a little bit personal. But I'm going to read it, okay? My intuition is telling me to read it. So, the source of abundance is infinite. God. God is the source of abundance and abundance is infinite. <clears throat> and then I wrote... <laughs> We live together. Do you walk with God or your higher source, your higher power? Whatever that is to you. If you keep it on your mind daily, your life will change. I wrote how I cohabitate with God and the angels and they keep me company. So, call me crazy if you want, but I love my crazy. It's very comforting. <clears throat> um, here's another one that helps you kind of understand things, right? My brain creates waves to attract Everything that I am thinking about. So whatever I am thinking about. My brain is creating waves. And it puts these waves out. And those waves bring those things that I'm thinking about. Into my energetic space. And that's how you create your life. That's a very, very, very heavy weight. A, a heavy, heavily weighted statement. I'm going to repeat it. I really want you to get the sense of that. Your brain creates waves. The same way your ears take in sound waves. Your brain emits waves. They put out waves based off of what you are thinking about. Everything that you think about. And those waves call things into your life. The law of attraction. Here's a good mantra for you. I am open and receptive to all the abundance in the universe. Tell yourself that. <laughs> This should be something that you tell yourself on a regular basis. That I am open and receptive to all of the abundance in the universe. You have to keep saying it out loud and you want to say it daily. 
even several times a day. You want to verbalize that you are receptive to all of the abundance in the universe. So what does that mean? If you're receptive to the abundance in the universe, you're not going to be jealous of someone else's abundance. If you are, that energy pushes abundance away from you. So you need to be receptive, not just to the abundance that you want to come your way, but all of the abundance in the universe. And there is no lack. It may appear that there's not enough to go around, <clears throat> but that's only because you push it away. There's more than enough abundance for everybody. Everyone can have an abundance. As a matter of fact, the abundance is around you, ready to make its way to you as soon as you stop rejecting it. And I know a lot of you are like, how do I reject it again? Your brain creates waves to attract everything that you're thinking about. If your thoughts are of lack, then you're going to attract lack. If your thoughts are repeatedly about abundance, ergo, the mantra, I am open, to, open and receptive to all the abundance in the universe, then you'll actually start to attract it. That's why you need to repeat it over and over again. <clears throat> I am open and receptive to all the abundance in the universe. Um, let's see. Use your imagination sometimes to create the things that you're looking for. And then focus on it. Focus on what you create. Don't focus on what is. Don't focus on what you have currently. Focus on what you created. Attract with your brain waves what you think about. <clears throat> okay. So, I am feeling like that's enough for tonight. I hope that this is something that kept you company or that you can use at night when you can't sleep because it's a rather long video. Um, but that's what it's for, is to keep you company. I get a lot of messages in my inbox of people who want to, you know, like chat and, you know, kill time, but... <clears throat> The one-on-one -on -one stuff is not very helpful, but I figured that this would definitely be helpful for those who crave that type of company. I love you guys. Let me know what you thought about some of the things in this video. Have a good night.